the nemesis of this country, was in a courtroom this morning. Um, as I am recording this for this evening, um, I'm not sure what the final outcome was of this pig bastard's appearance. But it was typical Trump. Uh, he has no respect for anything. Lawyers, unless they're working to pull his ass out of the nearest fire he got himself into. Judges, unless they're judges he appointed. And even then, sometimes he doesn't like them. The rule of law, the Constitution, nothing. Trump is the biggest fucking threat to the United States. And yet, what did what, what I talk about over the weekend when I did the weekend podcast? In six or seven battleground states, this piece of human waste is leading over Joe Biden? If this happens then I'm going to take however much time I will have left before this podcast is shut down. And I'm not trying to sound pod, uh, paranoid like Trump. But if this wannabe dictator does take over, as he has promised, there's going to be re- all sorts of re- revenge and punishment. And I have a feeling, very strong feeling, that what I talk about on this podcast about this filthy pig will cease to uh, cease to be but that's a year from now so but i can't believe that this staggers me that this country has gotten to the point where the majority of people polled and i don't know how valid the polls are i don't know how scientific they are and i know you're supposed to ignore these kinds of polls but when the polling indicates that a majority of people who are being asked, Trump or Biden, say Trump. It's just proof to me that the vast, vast plurality of people in this country are crazy, sociopathic, mean, full of hate, full of contempt, They're either racist or anti-Semitic or anti-Muslim or anti-gay. They're consumed with their putrid goddamn hatred. And when given a chance, like in a polling place or uh, in, in, in a poll conducted by a polling agency, they have their chance to spew out their venom about how miserable they are is what they're talking about. So the orange bastard, and and I talked a little bit about this over the weekend. I think it was in the uh, podcast for my either subscribers, the weekend podcast, or for Patreon. I'm not sure, but if if you've heard this before, it's because I talked about it over the weekend. But Trump and, and the thugs and bums and scum that identify themselves as his allies have begun mapping out exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to use the federal government to punish people to punish his critics, not people who are trying to destroy America, but people who have pointed out the truth about this filthy Nazi fuck Donald Trump. Punishment. Punishment. And the orange bastard is naming individuals that he wants to investigate and prosecute. And the scum around him, including that little Nazi Jew, Stephen Miller, who is part of this this plan, um, and the dumpster, uh, dumpster dweller, and, and so many of these filthy, rotten people. You notice you never hear Stephen Miller's name anymore. There's a reason for that. But these filth are drafting uh, plans to invoke the Insurrection Act on his first day in office, which would allow Trump to order out the military if there's any kind of demonstration against his assuming office again, or against anything that he would do. And if Trump calls out the Insurrection Act, if he puts it into play, the next step is martial law. I hope that that gets through to people. I I mean, this is not a fucking game. This is what is going to happen here. If Trump somehow gets his claws on the presidency again.
And in private, according, you know, this kind of shit leaks out, uh, uh, even if the little bastard Stephen Miller doesn't open his uh, filthy mouth uh, and through a chain of uh, confidants leaks out, it still gets out. And in private, Trump has told his advisors in the filth around him that he wants the Justice Department to investigate people who were in his own administration And people who at one time said they were willing to work with Trump. And then once they came out of the ether and realized that the son of a bitch was nothing more than a lying criminal Nazi, they woke up. And Trump doesn't like that when people wake up. So he wants hell to fall down on the people who became critical of his time in office, including his former chief of staff, General John Kelly, I don't think that'll play well. If I could, if I could get a message to Trump, first of all, I'd say you fucker. But if I could get a message to Trump, I would just say, you know, you're fucking with a, a, a general. You're fucking with a military man. And if you think you're going to order an investigation of him, I have a good feeling, you orange bastard, that the military in this country will turn against you. So go ahead, take your shot. Take your best shot, asshole. But not just John Kelly, but also his former attorney general, the sneaky, slimy little bastard, William Barr, who eventually turned against Trump, I guess to keep his own ass out of the sling. Also, Trump's ex-attorney, Ty Cobb, remember him, that poor bastard? And former Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Mark Milley, another one. Go ahead, you dumb fuck. Go after these generals. Go ahead. And see what happens. That's according to people who talk to this filthy bastard. And of course, as this has been reported by the New York Times, they speak on condition of anonymity for obvious reasons, not the least of which they like to be alive to see Christmas this year. And this filthy pig Trump has also talked to his close circle of fellow Nazis and and thugs and bums. He's talked about prosecuting officials at the FBI and the Justice Department. Prosecuting, do you hear me? Prosecuting, bringing charges against them because they disrespected his filthy ass. That's why. Now, to make sure that if this miserable son of a bitch gets the presidency again, his crime associates have been drafting plans, if he does get elected, elected again, drafting plans to, uh, that will give Trump the ability, because he's a dumb fuck, to, uh, to add on to everything else. He's the most ignorant son of a bitch. He makes George W. Bush look bright. But they're drafting plans to help Trump direct Justice Department actions. Trump is going to turn the Justice Department into the Trump Department. And the plans being drafted by this coterie of thugs and bums around him, the plans will get rid of 50 years of policy and practices that were intended to shield criminal prosecutions from political considerations. You know, which Joe Biden has done an exemplary job of removing himself, even though it's his son who's being targeted by the Justice Department. Now, people who, like you, people like me, in other words, we critics of this bullshit, we point out, that not only is this unconstitutional, but it's extremely dangerous. I think Trump wants to push this country into another civil war, or I shouldn't say that, into an internal war. On the one hand, the MAGA filth, on the other people who are determined that if any of this shit comes to pass, there will be blood. Until this this cancer, this filth, 
this putrefication that Trump represents and has tried to and done a good job of imposing on the political body of this country is brought to an end. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.